You must be wondering why color in black and white in the first place. In short, time. Being able to gauge your values properly before applying color is a really important step in becoming a better artist. But even if you're an advanced artist with great value control, coloring in black and white saves time as it allows you to make color changes efficiently down the road. A typical setup involves using a mid-tone gray as the absolute base, throwing your shadows onto a clipped layer, then highlights, then add colors on top of that. There are two great workflows to color a black and white drawing. First, using a combination of layer blending modes. I frequently use Multiply, Overlay, and Softlight the most, with the occasional Color Glow Dodge for some brighter spots. Simply add a layer, then click the double square icon that will clip your colors to the base black and white drawing. Using this method and a variety of blend modes, you can achieve a range of hues while keeping consistent values. The second way is through gradient maps. Gradient maps require their own tutorial, but essentially you're mapping the black and white values according to this gradient scale. Knowing this, we can change any number of values on the scale to affect the black and white drawing and get rich results. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, click that like and subscribe button. If you didn't, share this video with someone you think will benefit from it and subscribe anyways.